So the two things that come with the laser to get your exhaust set up is this 15 foot long exhaust tube vent thing. And then this part to attach it to, I don't know what. So we're going to figure that out together. This is one of the biggest things that I'm stressed about is getting this set up properly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of mach the machine and figure out how, how we do this. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we attach this piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those screws and then put this right on top. like a foam thing in here so I just want to make sure I'm not messing that up Now that this is securely in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tube over top. Again, this is included with the laser. It comes with it inside. I'm just gonna slide it on there. So now I'm going to attach the little clampy thing that goes around it. Okay. Decided to get a secondary fan simply because I am operating this in my house. So before I vent it to the outside, I'm going to go ahead and set it up to this secondary fan the same way that I did on the back by clamping it on to this fan. I decided to go with a door vent to have it vent outside. So I have a sliding door next to my laser and this vent, I got it off of Amazon. It simply slots into the rails of your sliding door and then you are able to fit the end of the laser into the base where there is the vent. So I used tech tape to actually tape it to the fan. It worked out really well because everything was the same size. It was a six inch diameter fan and then a six inch diameter part that that would vent to the outdoors. Once this is set up, I do use the blue tuck tape to cover all of the seams. It's not pictured here, but I will do it top to bottom so no vapor gets inside and it works great. 